Welcome combatants, so concrete proof that the Dragon King's army and Naga will return, confirming he is Shao Kahn's dad, so do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me on TikTok as well. So when it comes to the Dragon King and everything that's been revealed, we know the newest stuff is that Shao Kahn has a father who we've never actually known, but now they actually speak about him. But obviously shout out, shout out to um, Akin who says this, after the trailer, there's no denying that Onaga will be the main villain of MK1. There's so much evidence that points to him, Scorpion Matt and the undead soldiers, and then Liu Kang's um, mirror match dialogue with him talking about Onaga. Now, the one thing that he also posts in this towards me is this really cool image and this is the image now you have the tomb where you had the dragon king's army then you have the mk1 stage right underneath with the same amulet as you can see here this is the dragon king's army right here underneath here with the big shinox big amulet right there now the very interesting thing about this is that it's here on the stage the steps going up are the same as the deadly alliance one as well with the big amulet right in the top center so that would mean that all of them around this, on this stage, is the Dragon King's army. So in this version, I don't think that Onaga will be taking the body of um, Reptile. Maybe Goro, finally letting Kintaro get some spotlight. But yeah, as you can see, you can see that both the amulets here are the same. The steps going up towards the amulets are the same. The armies around them are the same. This is literally our first look at the Dragon King's Keep where we're going to be seeing his actual armies. Now also go back to Liu Kang's um, dialogue with himself where he says, where he says to himself, um, does Onaga exist in your world? And he goes, exist, he rules it. So right there, we know that Onaga in this world is still in this world somewhere or he's just dead right now but he did rule it he probably lost his life maybe in a war where he turned against king jared maybe king jared in this world is a beast and he actually like you know he actually beat him but in the course of beating him someone else did a coup d'etat and killed him which is why i say he's murdered so anything could be possible but with this you can see that it's the same exact thing just been redone in a more updated design but you can see it's the exact same area this is it so that would mean in the trailer scorpion was fighting against some of these undead warriors so they must have come alive or must be still alive maybe onaga's power is still circulating through there his spirit or something and he's able to awaken them and let them be utilized to attack because i wondered who the heck was scorpion fighting against in them because it was an army of undead soldiers and they must be onaga's army so whoever awakened them or something that happened to awaken them is very interesting but i know everyone's thinking about who's that one on the horse I don't think that is Onaga and the reason why I say I don't think it is is because there's another one behind him dressed exactly the same way. Onaga would never have someone dressed exactly like him. There's no reason to. So I think these are just high generals of his army, older army generals. I mean, look, even in Raiden's old ending in Diddly Lion, look how different Onaga looks there. And you know what's really funny? He actually looks more like the new general Shao. When you look at them here now, you can see they actually look very much the same. The Dragon King's horns, the, the body armor, everything. You can actually see that they look very similar compared to how they did before. Now, I do think that he's definitely going to be revealed as his father and we are going to see the Dragon King return. If the leaks are true, then we will get the tease of Onaga's return at the end. Like I said ages ago, what if General Shao and them are actual worshippers of Onaga? But this time around, he would be. It's his father. So he's not against his father in this world he's not killing Onaga he wants his father to return because of his defeat because of what he wants for Outworld like he said in his bio he made sure that he um, loves Outworld to pieces he would overthrow the ruler if it meant keeping Outworld great and like it says it seems that Onaga always loved Outworld in his stuff he said to Shujinku how much Outworld was flourishing he made sure it was prospering but then obviously when Shao Kahn took over it turned to kaput so this time around Shao Kahn would love Outworld or General Shao would because his father loves Outworld and would do anything for that realm to, to exist and to be the strongest ever and maybe him Onaga didn't include to want to be on the same path as Liu Kang and his decisions and his son General Shao has followed through in the same route people and I do feel like this could be exactly what's going on but yeah this it, it could be it could be true it might not be but the, the evidence is right there it shows it right there the dragon king's army the place 
you ask me he's definitely coming back and if so this is going to be amazing to see onaga in modern day graphics how is he going to look who's going to be his vessel or maybe this time he don't need one but let me know what you guys think of all this are you excited to possibly see the dragon king do you think this is definitely something that proves he is coming or not but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy as always stay trusty peeps peace